Hello everyone, welcome to GS Core. Today in this session we will be discussing about current affairs through MCQs and the topic of discussion is science and technology. So the questions that we will be discussing are from science and technology. Let us start with the questions. First question is, the government of India has adopted the strategy of detect, treat, prevent, build DTPB for the elimination of which of the following diseases. So as you must be aware, it is for DTPB strategy is for the elimination of tuberculosis. So the national strategy plan for tuberculosis aims to eliminate uh, TB by 2025. And in order to achieve that aim, we have detect, treat, prevent, build strategy for the elimination of tuberculosis. Right. So answer of this question is A, tuberculosis, where detect stands for uh, finding out all drug sensitive as well as drug resistant TB cases. Then treat stands for initiation and sustenance of all patients on anti-TB treatment. Then prevent strategy focuses on the uh, prevention of the emergence of TB in susceptible population and then build stands for uh, strengthening policies, empowering institutions and addition of new human resource to uh, enhance the capabilities to achieve the goal of elimination of TB by 2025. Right? So that is what is DTPB strategy and hence answer of this question is Answer of this question is A, tuberculosis. Next question now. Consider the following statements regarding antimicrobial resistance. Right? Antimicrobial resistance is also referred as AMR and it is an important topic for, uh, for the prelims examination as well as mains examination. What is antimicrobial resistance? It is the resistance shown by microbes to various mi antimicrobial drugs. Right? And there are a number of reasons for antimicrobial resistance like overuse of uh, the uh, drugs, underuse of drugs, even, uh, even use of these drugs in the treatment of uh, animals for even, uh, these are used even for increasing production in animal husbandry sector. Right? So there are a number of reasons of antimicrobial resistance. Let us consider the statements. First statement is, according to WHO, it is a global public health threat right so this statement is a correct statement and if you if you have read the recent article related to antimicrobial resistance in the hindu you will find that uh, the the article says that amr is a kind of silent pandemic that we uh, that we are witnessing right so first statement is a correct statement second madhya pradesh and kerala are the only states in india that have developed an action plan to manage antimicrobial resistance right so this statement is also a correct statement only madhya pradesh and kerala have the uh, action plan to manage antimicrobial resistance both these statements are correct and that's why answer is c both one and two next question now next question is consider the following statements about diabetes in india first statement among the population aged 20 years, the prevalence is more in urban areas as compared to rural areas. Right? So, this statement is a correct statement because uh, as, per, as per the National Diabetes and Diabetic uh, Retinopathy Survey Report 2015-2019, uh, population aged up to 20 years, prevalence of diabetes in this particular age group is more in urban areas compared to rural areas and that's why first statement is a correct statement. Second statement is diabetic disease can also lead to ocular morbidity that means blindness right. So in certain cases uh, diabetes also leads to ocular morbidity blindness. So second statement is also a correct statement. So both the statements related to diabetes are correct and that's why answer of this question is both one and Next question now. Next question is National AIDS Control Program NACP 
was recently approved for its phase four. In this regard, consider the following statements, right? So NACP uh, is, is NACP's uh, fourth phase have been uh, approved. Let us consider the statements for NACP first. NACP phase four targets to make 99% of the population HIV free, right? So this statement is a correct statement. The target of NACP phase four is to make 99% of population HIV free. Second statement, it aims to provide and uh, it aims to provide free antiretroviral treatment ART to people living with HIV, right? So that is also the aim of NACP phase four. Next, third statement, national AIDS prevention and control policy has been adopted recently under NACP phase four. So this statement is an incorrect statement. Why? Because national AIDS prevention and control policy was adopted in NACP phase two in 2002 itself, right? And that's why this statement is an incorrect statement. National AIDS policy, AIDS prevention and control policy was adopted in 2002 under NACP phase two, not phase four, right? And that's why answer is B one and two only. Answer of this question is B. Next question now. Question number five. Consider the following following pairs. So on one hand we have vectors, and on other hand we have their uh, diseases, diseases related to those vectors, right? So uh, first vector is anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis uh, mosquito leads to Japanese encephalitis, right? So this is incorrect. This should be the part of this. Japanese encephalitis uh, is the correct pair for, for anaphylus. Anaphylus mosquito leads to Japanese uh, encephalitis. It is a vector for Japanese encephalitis. Second statement, sand flies and its match is Kalazar. So this is also correct statement. Sand flies leads to Lashmaniasis, which is nothing but Kalazar, right? So second pair is also correct. Third pair is uh, Addis mosquito, Addis mosquito leading to spread of Rift Valley fever, right? So this is also a correct pair related to the uh, spread of Rift Valley fever. It is because of Addis mosquito, right? So Addis mosquito also leads to uh, diseases like chikungunya, dengue and all. And uh, the anaphylus, anaphylus mosquito also leads to malaria fine so all these three pairs are correctly matched and that's why answer is d one two and three next question now next question is nipah nipah virus outbreak was recently seen reported in kerala consider the following statements regarding nipah virus right so nipah virus is also a zoonotic disease and its uh, last outbreak was witnessed in the state of Kerala. Let us consider these statements first. It is a zoonotic virus with no human to human transmission. So this statement is an incorrect statement. Why? Because yes, it is a zoonotic virus, but there are instances of human to human transmission is possible. Human to human transmission is possible and that's why first statement is an incorrect statement. Second, it was first recognized during an outbreak among pig farmers in Uganda. This statement is also an incorrect statement. Nipah, its first outbreak was seen amongst pig farmers of Malaysia, not Uganda. And so third statement, second statement is incorrect statement. Third, Pig far, pigs act as a natural host of Nipah virus. This statement again is an incorrect statement because the natural host of natural host of uh, Nipah virus is fruit bats. Right, natural host of uh, Nipah virus is fruit bats belonging to Pteridae family. Right, so fruit bats of Pteridae family, they are the natural host of Nipah virus, not pigs, right? And we are supposed to find out incorrect statements. So all these three are incorrect statements and hence answer of this question is D, 
1, 2 and 3. Right. So, answer of this question is D. Next question now. 90, 90, 90 targets are related to which of the following disease? Right. So, 90, 90 targets are the targets related to AIDS. Right. Answer of this question is, is uh, A. So, what are 90, 90, 90 targets? 90, 90 targets uh, focus on uh, diagnosis of, of 90 percent of people living with HIV. Then 90 percent of the people should be able to receive antiviral, uh, antiretroviral therapy, ART therapy. And 90 percent of people living with uh, HIV on ART should be virally suppressed by 2020. That is the target under uh, under 90-90-90, uh, which is an ambitious uh, program for the treatment of AIDS epidemic. Right. So it is the target of UNAIDS. Answer of this question is A. Next now. Next question is cytokine storms refers to which of the following, right? So, you must have came across this term cytokine storms uh, during COVID-19. So, cytokine storms are the result of, uh, are the result of strong immune response produced by our body, right? Strong immune response produced by our body uh, leads to, uh, leads to cytokine storms. So, answer of this question is C, a severe immune reaction triggered by the body to fight an infection. That is what is referred as cytokine storms, right? Next question now. Next question is the term ESBL, that is extended spectrum beta lactamases, is related to which of the following? So, this is related to pathogenic multi drug resistant bacteria. Extended spectrum beta lactamase is related to pathogenic multi drug resistant bacteria fine so uh, these are the gram negative bacteria like e coli and they have started developing antimicrobial resistance answer of this question is b next next question is question number 10 rotavac 5d an oral rotavirus vaccine which was currently been developed with respect to that, consider the following statements, right? So, there is a vaccine called as Rotavac 5D and the question is about this uh, Rotavac 5D, which is an oral rotavirus vaccine. Let us consider the statements first. Hyderabad-based Bharat Biotech International has commercially launched it, right? So, first statement is a correct statement. It is launched by Hyderabad-based Bharat Biotech International. Second statement, the rollout of oral Rotavirus vaccine is also the lowest dose uh, volume rotavirus vaccine in the world, right? So, this statement is also a correct statement. This Rotavac 5D uh, oral vaccine is the lowest dose volume rotavirus vaccine in the world. Third, rotavirus is the most common cause of severe diarrhea among infants and children throughout the world, right? So, this statement is also a correct statement about the Rotavirus. Rotavirus is a viral disease. Rotavirus is a viral disease that is primarily seen in infants, right? And it leads to it leads to severe inflammation. It leads to severe inflammation of of stomach and bowels stomach and bowel. Fine. And it is highly contagious uh, virus. Rotavirus is highly contagious virus and primarily it is seen amongst infants and children uh, throughout the world. And this is one of the major cause of death of almost 5 lakh children worldwide annually. Right, And that is why it is considered as one of the important threats to infants and children. So, all these statements relate, related to uh, Rotavac 5D vaccine developed against Rotavirus are correct and that is why answer of this question is D, 1, 2 and 3, right. So, all the questions, all the statements are correct for this question, answer is D. 
So that is about these questions. If you want to attempt these uh, questions, you can scan this QR code or you can even visit the link given in the description box. So that's all for now. See you in the next class. Thank you.